Hey there. At the time of recording this, it's, it's almost winter, or at least fall. And so uh, um, a lot of times we go tailgating or we go to softball games and it, it gets cold outside. So one of the things we purchased was the DeWalt 20-volt propane heater. Um, so in the back, it takes the battery. Now this battery really is only for a few things. One is for the fan. So you push the button here, and it's got a blower that blows out the heat. Second, it's got a light, which I guess is probably good if you're camping. And then the next thing, which is also pretty handy, is if you open up the side, oh, wrong side. If you open up the side, you have um, right here. <laughs> you have these USB plugs. So you can charge your devices off of that DeWalt, off of that DeWalt uh, battery, which is pretty handy. Now, as like you've seen, it holds propane tanks. So we got one, and we've got two, two propane tanks, right? So how it works is you set it here, you hold it in, it's got an auto start, and then you just turn it on. So right now, that's how easy it is to turn this heater on. I'm gonna put the fan on, and it's putting out heat. Couple things. I'm gonna turn the fan back off. One is have your expectations aligned. Uh, coming out of these little propane tanks, it doesn't put out a tremendous amount of heat. Like you'll feel it if you're in the radius of it. If you're inside of a tent, um, you'll definitely feel. It. I don't know how comfortable I'd be with because of carbon monoxide and stuff about keeping it inside a tent. But uh, if you are okay with it, then you know do your homework there. Um, so it puts out heat, especially for a smaller area. However, it's not like the big five gallon propane tank heaters that you see from like Mr. Heater, where it's got the two big heaters on the top and it just blows out a tremendous amount. Those are good for shops. This is good for like a smaller room at best. Uh, another thing is if you're out in the wind, it blows the pilot light out pretty often. Um, I find myself, if there's any wind at all, like every five or 10 minutes, I'm reigniting this thing. Uh, it doesn't go through propane very quickly. But one thing about it is that the, these tanks do have a tendency to freeze up. And the, the little uh, valve here, when it freezes up, sometimes it'll impede the amount of flow that gets into the, uh, into the line and it won't put out as much heat as you were expecting. Or it'll just turn off. So that's what I kind of like about the cedar. So you have the USB ports here. You've got the light at the top, you've got the fan, and it puts out heat. So from an from a overall standpoint, it's a pretty good heater. Um, it's not that expensive, especially if you've already invested in the DeWalt 20 volt system for rechargeable batteries. Um, these little propane tanks are easy to find. They are, um, they're not that expensive and they last quite a while. Uh, it, it's very easy to light, so again, you just push it you put it into the uh, on position and just push down the igniter. So that works great. The downfalls, not a tremendous amount of heat coming out of it. Like I can definitely feel it right now. But if I was, uh, you know, 10 feet away, it's not going to be super hot. And then the second thing is that in any kind of wind, it, it will definitely blow out. That's a, a big flaw. Everybody I know who has one kind of struggles with trying to keep it lit on a windy day. But if you can live with that, it's a thumbs up.